Hey, better sax players. Jay Metcalf here. I'm excited. I just got back from vacation. And what's here waiting for me? A saxophone. Now, as you know, I don't need another saxophone. It's really the last thing on earth that I need. I got this one for you guys because it's cheap. It's under $500. And I've heard nothing but great things about it. It's the Jean Paul AS400 alto saxophone. We're going to unbox it, do a quick mechanical overview, and then a play test. And we're going to find out if this isn't the best alto saxophone you can get for under $500 new. So far, this is packed pretty well. There's no gloves in the saxophone. I think that's a good sign. That's what you get in the box. Saxophone, neck, cork grease, a reed, neck strap, polishing cloth, manual with a fingering chart, if you're gonna order one of these, you're gonna get one reed in the box and it's a two and a half reed, which is actually not what I would recommend for beginners. You might wanna start with a two or a one and a half. This reed might be a little bit too resistant if you've never played the saxophone before. Now, something I noticed right away, this end plug here is different than something, than what I've seen on other student horns. It's got this extra bit here that's uh, covering up the octave key mechanism. How cool is that? You got a nice swab. Beautiful. Beautiful. Every saxophone should come with a cleaning cloth like this. This is fantastic. Love it. Uh, another accessory you might want to get with this, a neck and mouthpiece swab. This is a Daddario ligature uh, and cap. I've never seen this coming with a student level saxophone at this price. I'm just giving you a quick look at the mouthpiece. It's got a square chamber, like a classical mouthpiece design, similar to a Selmer Sea Star. Let's check this horn out. This is a well set up horn, I could tell already. Can you hear that? That's the sound of a horn that's that's sealing pretty well. Oh, and it's got some uh, some engraving on the bell as well, and it doesn't look too bad. Uh, a little bit here on the bow. That's a nice little touch. Now I can see that it's got the blue steel springs. So, you know, when you action the keys, they snap back nicely. When I've got it horizontal like this, that D key, which is a heavy key, snaps right back. That B key snaps right back. B flat, look at that. The springs have a good tension on them. And you know what else? The mechanisms are really well lubricated. They're pretty tight. You know, when the when the mechanisms are tight, you they're quieter. So you don't have play in these keys. A little tiny little bit there. So mechanically, it feels great. This does not feel like a $500 saxophone, or at least what I consider to be a $500 saxophone. I'm looking at the key corks, E side key foot. It's got the little bevel cut on it. That's uh, another thing you don't normally see on student instruments. They usually just slap those things on there any old way. Okay, I did find one cork on this A key here. It's a little bit off, but I'm really having to search for anything that's out of place. The bomb keys all have bevel cut corks, and when you open them and action them, you get a nice stop on the body of the saxophone. It's not squishy. Moving forward, it's got ribbed construction, which means that all the posts are on one piece of metal that gets soldered onto the saxophone. This is something else you don't always see on student saxophones. The neck receiver looks very solid. Oh, you know what, check it out. So they've also got some engraving on the bell. There's another feature that this instrument has 
that you don't see on a lot of professional saxophones. And it's these little screws. These are adjustment screws. Anything that can save the repair technician time to reduce the costs of adjustments is a good thing. And you know what, it's, it's hefty. It's got a good, it's solid. This is a solid instrument. So checking out the pads, the pads have metal resonators in them. They look to be seating really well. I mean, I can hear it when I close those keys. And this saxophone traveled across the ocean. I'm in France. What I've been told is that each one of these saxophones gets checked over before it gets sent out. So they get imported from China, but then they get inspected and checked by their technicians before they're sent out to the end customer. This horn's in great shape. There's nothing that I say, ah, I gotta fix that before it's gonna play right. Either it's coming from the factory in really good shape, or somebody's checking the instruments and making sure that the little adjustments get done. The horn is ready to play out of the box. Now, let's quickly check the neck. I noticed this when I took it out, so I did find a blemish. So you've got your neck and then there's a little extra ring of metal that gets soldered on the end of your neck. This one has been soldered a little bit crooked. This seems to be the sort of thing that if you contacted them and you found this and you just sent the neck back, they'd probably send you another one. Um, it's got a, what does this say? We are striving for a five-star customer service your instrument has a one year parts and labor warranty. So I would think that this is the sort of thing, it's minor, maybe you don't wanna bother, you know. See, the mouthpiece goes straight on there, no problem. And that's dry, by the way, this mouthpiece goes on there. I didn't put any cork grease on there, so. That's a tight fit and you want that with no cork grease. If I put a little bit of cork grease on that, you've got a perfect fit with the mouthpiece that's included. Is that too much to ask with a saxophone that the mouthpiece goes on without, you know, you're not, you're not gonna break the instrument trying to get the mouthpiece on and off. And that's a nice fit. Lightly tightened up this screw and this doesn't budge. Doesn't budge at all. Unscrew it, comes right out. Super easy, super smooth. You know, another thing about saxophones is just with that, yes, you can hear that sound of the pads closing, but you can also feel the resonance of the horn, how it kind of vibrates. That feels good. Let me just show you the case real quick. It's got this foam interior, but it's, a, it's quite rigid in some places and softer in other places. You got a spot for the mouthpiece, which is nice. And you got a separate space for the neck. And here you got plenty of room for accessories. Now, if I close this. So yeah, when the case is closed, it's holding the instrument in there tight. <laughs> My only worry with this case and really any zippered case, you know, how long are the zippers gonna hold out? Flipping it over, you've got backpack straps. A pretty nice latch feet on the bottom. So when it's standing like this, it's stable. You've also got feet here. So when you stand it up like this, it's stable and it's got a nice handle. So this is the handle that I'm using the most. This is great. I love it. I'm ready to go to a gig right now. The last thing, you've got a nice pouch here in the front. Here we've got some standard sheet music books. A number of them they fit in that pocket beautifully. I'm excited to hear what this thing sounds like. Let's go, let's go play it. So this is the included mouthpiece and ligature.
that's the mouthpiece that comes with it. Good for beginners, easy to play. Okay, now I've got my mouthpiece on there. Let's see how it plays. sound it's got like this kind of dark sound to it which I'm a little bit surprised Jean-Paul AS 400 this is a smoking saxophone for $500 um, I can't see how you could want more than this for that price and the great case that it comes with. Sure, it's not the same as playing on a professional level instrument like my Yanagisawa's, but I would be very happy if any of my beginning or intermediate students, or really any student for that matter, had a horn that worked as well as this. When I did the reviews of the Amun laid saxophones. I got a lot of comments from people saying, oh, but you can't repair them. And that's really a lot of nonsense. You know, then I later did some videos where I actually repaired those saxophones. Um, in order to kind of circumvent that whole thing, the company who makes these, well, they offer a warranty. They stock all of the parts for repairing the horns and they have repair centers where if you need to get your instrument fixed, you can send it to them and they will fix it. There's more information about their policy on all that on their website, but, uh, and I've linked to it in the description below. Honestly, for 500 bucks, I can't imagine doing better. Um, this may be the best option for under $500 for a saxophone for anyone out there. Again, a lot of people have been saying, well, they are the Chinese saxophones are just gonna fall apart. Um, you know, go read the reviews on these saxophones. They are overwhelmingly positive and there's people that have been playing on these instruments for years now uh, without having any problems, just, you know, making music. I can recommend without any hesitation that if your budget is $500, you can't do better than this. If you got some value out of this video, please click the thumbs up button. Get yourself subscribed to the channel if you aren't already. Uh, be sure to follow Better Sax on Instagram and Facebook where I'm sharing bonus content daily. Thank you for watching. Leave your comments below. Tell us about your experiences with this saxophone. If you've got one, I'd love to hear about it. Uh, you know, see you again soon in the next Better Sax video. I'm going to play this horn some more. This is a fun horn to play.